Hi folks, we're on an afternoon trip to try and find Alpine Swift. There's been quite a few in the UK at the moment, um, we're having a bit of an influx, but we haven't had a chance unfortunately with work and such to go out and have a look for one, so that's what we're doing now. Um, we're heading for Elton Reservoir near Manchester, which is the closest one to us at the moment. It's been seen this morning, so join us. It took just over an hour to get to Elton Reservoir, which is in North Manchester. The journey up was fine until the sat nav got us lost down a really bumpy country lane. Hi folks, we're at Elton Reservoir looking for Alpine Swift. Um, some, we've just seen someone who said it's showing. So we're going to have a walk down there now. Come with us. Some other birders pointed us to the other end of the reservoir. Whilst walking around, we saw some amazing Highlands type cattle. Also, there were quite a few birds on the reservoir, quite a few black headed gulls, and a number of ducks. Many of these ducks were mollard and tufted duck. When we eventually got to where the swift had been sighted, we were told it had flown off 10 minutes before. We were gutted, but along with another birder who travelled, we decided to stick around and were soon rewarded. After about half an hour or so of waiting, the Alpine Swift flew in. It circled around some fields, sometimes high, sometimes coming low, nearly up to the tree line. Although regularly it was quite high up and quite far away, this bird was unmistakable with its white tummy and its white chin. Although it was an amazing bird to behold, it was a photographer's nightmare. I've got a couple of shaky videos and a few pretty rough pictures, but we were super happy as this bird was a lifer for both of us. Whilst walking back along the reservoir, we got some great close-up views of a pair of great crested grebe fishing. Also on top of this I got some pretty blurred footage of two golden eye that flew off. Hi folks, uh, that was a good thing. We got to see the Alpine Swift, we had to wait a while for it to turn up, but when it did it put on a bit of a show. It was a bit too fast for photographs and videos so that's why they're a bit shaky. Um, but amazing bird and that's a lifer. Woo! So as this was only a bit of an afternoon bird watch, um, we're going to go out tomorrow a bit and see what we can find then. Stick with us. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to RSVB Burton Moor Wetlands. Do you know why we're going? I do. Why are we going? We're going because there's a reported long-billed doorwitch there, which is a wader and a visitor from America. It's a bird that I've seen in the past, but only at a very long distance, and Kaylee hasn't seen. So this could be a really nice little lifer. Come with us. We headed towards our reasonably local RSPB, which is only about 25 minutes from where we live. Hi. Hey folks, we're at Burton Mere Wetlands. It's packed. There's more people here than I've, I think I've ever seen before so hopefully that bodes well for the long billed door which are, so hopefully <laughs> so we're heading that way now keep with us when we got there we made a beeline for the border hide which was at the opposite side of the reserve stopping only for this very confiding pheasant that was at the side of the path when we eventually got to border hide there was loads of birders there we found a seat and looked out over the water. There were loads of waders there. No one at that point could pick out the long-billed doorwitcher. So we looked through all the birds that were there. There were a large number of knot and dunlin and godwits like this one preening. We also got a reasonable view of a lovely spotted red shank that was starting to get its dark summer colors. Another bird that was there was Avocet. This is a bit of a breeding success at Burton Moor Wetlands as they have them there most years. So back to the door witcher. We were looking through at a group of birds and someone suspected it was one of the birds sleeping amongst a group of knot. Eventually the birds were spooked and we got a very brief sighting of the door witcher as it took off. Luckily the birds soon came to land and we were able to pick out the door witcher. It was roughly a similar size to the knot, a bit darker and with a much longer bill. 
This is a great bird and a visitor from the United States. So an awesome bird to see so local to where we live. We watched it for quite some time, trying to get as much footage as we possibly could. This bird was much closer than the other time I've seen a Dorwitcher, where it was like a bit of a speck in the distance, so I was super happy. And this one is a lifer for Kaylee. On the way out of the hide, we saw a sleeping male Gargani, which is not a duck we see very often, so that was cool. Hello. Hello. We've just got another lifer for Kaylee. Hey. Long bill. Well well. Yeah, really yeah, showed nice. It's a good bird, that. It took it a bit of a while to stick its head up because it was asleep among a load of knot and dunlin and godwits and such. But we got some reasonable footage because it yeah, got up and moved and had a feed and had a preen. So amazing. We looked around the reserve to see what other birds were about. There were a lot of ducks, like this lovely shell duck that was doing a little bit of feeding, a reasonable number of tufted ducks. We saw one gadwall, although I didn't get any footage. We did see a few birds preening, like this fantastic shoveler, and also this Canada goose that was having a right flap about in the water in front of us. There was also a lot of gulls and this teal. We moved on to a screen that looks out on a reed bed. There were a lot of birders there, so I tried to find out what was going on. And they were watching this lovely great white egret. This is a bird that's only recently started breeding in the UK, so it's a stunning bird to see. And not the first time I've seen one here. This bird was posing and doing a bit of fishing. And at one point, it jumped up, lunged into the water, and came out with a fish. It had caught its lunch. This was great to see. From the same screen, we had a lovely view of a little grebe that was swimming around. And also a bird that you hear, but don't often see, which was a Chetty's warbler. This one was skulking around in the bottom of the reed bed. So I managed to get this shaky footage. And last, but not least, there was this grey lag goose feeding in front of us. Hey, still walking around Bitmere wetlands and we've just had a stunning view of a great white egret yeah, fishing and just caught a fish, so that was brilliant. Another great bird and I've just had a lovely video of a Chetty's warbler which you don't often see, so this, this continues to be a very, very good day. We got back to the visitor centre to see this little egret being mobbed by gulls. Eventually, they stopped giving it a hard time. We grabbed a sandwich and sat there watching the birds. It had been a really nice walk. We then got up, headed to the car and saw on the way back this lovely great tit and the ever-present Robin. What a weekend. Hi folks, we've just come in from Burton Mayor. It's been a good day birding and a generally good weekend we've actually seen the two birds that we aim to see the uh, alpine swift and the long billed door which are really good which both of them are lifers for kaylee and the alpine swift's a lifer for me so amazing so after a couple of weekends of local twitching the reason we've been staying local is we've got a big adventure ahead of us we're going to africa, africa. <laughs> So we will see you when we come back with probably a two or a three part video. See you then. Oh, one thing we forgot. Please like. Please, please, please subscribe. And press the bell for, for what do you call it? Notifications. <laughs> we got there in the end. See you soon.